Hi, everybody. My name is Tony Vargas. Uh, welcome. This is a very impromptu uh, video that we're putting together, and I'll tell you what, what this is all about. Um, but as a state senator, I represent District 7 in downtown and South Omaha. One of the things that I really strive to do is to try to do new things to engage the community and educate people about the different types of work that we do in the Nebraska legislature. Uh, and so this is an attempt to do that. I'm very proud to chair the planning committee, uh, which I also... Uh, Vice Chair is John McAllister, and I have a wonderful committee of nine individuals. So I'll tell you more about the planning committee. Um, but this is to educate you about what we do in the planning committee, what we've done this year a little bit. And I'm really thankful that I have Dr. Schaefer here with me that is going to be uh, having this conversation to educate you about some of our recommendations and what we've done. So Dr. Schaefer, yeah. you want to introduce yourself a little so bit? So I'm Josie Schaefer. I'm the director of the Center for Public Affairs Research here at the University of Nebraska in Omaha. My office has worked with the planning committee at the Nebraska State Legislature since 2009. We provide data and statistics, uh, many of them from the U United States Census Bureau survey products, the decennial census, as well as the American Community Survey. And then we sometimes do some in-depth policy analysis in order to provide some policy recommendations that are founded in the data we present to them. That's all amazing things. Uh, okay, so this is meant to be uh, a way to engage the public. So we're just having coffee and having a conversation. That's the point of this. Um, so we're going to try to uh, you know, do everything we can to educate you on different pieces of what the planning committee does, um, a little bit of the history, who the committee members are, why it's that way, some of the recommendations, and, and also learn a little bit about some data points that are very telling on the changing landscape uh, and what's happening in the state of Nebraska. That works? Yeah. Okay, good. You're excited. I'm excited. This is all good. Okay, so um, I want to thank everybody. So I am, as chair of the planning committee, uh, this is a special committee. As you know, there are standing committees in the Nebraska legislature, appropriations, urban affairs. We have many different committees that are con that are in, in the legislature. We vote on those leaders at the beginning, and they're usually all voted by the majority of the legislature. Um, but the way that this, this is a little bit different is special committees in the Nebraska legislature are appointed by the executive board. I'm really proud to be one of the members of the executive board. I'm the vice chair, along with our chair, Mike Hilgers. Um, and that nine member board of individuals that are elected by the body themselves, that board of nine uh, selects and appoints members to all special committees. And so the planning committee is one of our special committees. This is a committee that was um, proposed and passed as a bill. Uh, by Senator John Harms, and Senator John Harms is, is the father of the planning committee. Uh, he came out and decided that, and this is, this is actually really good foreshadowing, the, before we really engaged in term limits and, and we saw the effects, he pitched the planning committee. And he pitched it because the state of Nebraska has been changing, like every other state, um, but one of the things that we don't have as a state is we do not have a committee or a structure that is thinking about what we should be doing over the next five to 10 years plus um, legislatively policy wise to prepare ourselves to then begin to think more strategically about what we should be doing. Um, and so he thought that we should create a committee that does that. And uh, I think most people will be surprised that we don't already have a structure that does that. Um, what I'll say is in other states, most of these other places, other state legislatures, uh, I would say some, sometimes the party systems do that. And as a Nebraska unicameral nonpartisan legislature, we don't have a party systems. We don't have a majority and minority party. We have 49 state senators that are focusing on what we can do uh, and focusing on getting things done. And so as a result, I think one of the things we miss is there isn't a set agenda on all the things we need to work on. Um, and instead, senators come together on shared issues and prioritize what's most important. But this committee is one opportunity, uh, and Senator Harms believed, for us to then step back, look at data, uh, engage and educate ourselves on what's actually happening in the state, use that to drive and inform decisions, um, and make some real recommendations for the state. Um, and so that's where this committee, and I think this passes LB, uh, and I always forget the actual LB 635. number, 635. Uh, 653 uh, was actually passed um, <laughs> and, in the first session of the 101st legislature. And so now that's a little bit about the planning committee. The only other things I want to tell you about it is I think a little bit of the importance um, over the last, I've been on this committee for the past three years. Uh, I joined it when Senator Schumacher was the chairperson of the committee uh, from um, Columbus, Nebraska. 
he termed out, but I got to serve as his vice chair these last two years in 2017 and 18. Um, and what I really like about this committee is uh, because it is still relatively new in the history of the legislature, um, we're still trying to figure out what's going to work and how we can leverage this committee um, to best meet the needs of the state of Nebraska. Um, we have had a longstanding relationship with the uh, Center for Public Affairs, um, CPAR, the, the acronym, and uh, with Dr. Schaefer now and previously uh, her predecessor. But one of the things we really like to do is make sure that we are learning and with the breadth of the people that are in the committee, we have the speaker, we have the chair of the executive board, we have the chair of appropriations, and these nine individuals, also the other people are all appointed, um, the, the six other individuals, we get to make really good decisions and recommendations and represent the interests all across the state. It's pretty balanced. So I'm just lucky we have a great committee. Uh, I'm thankful for our vice chair and all the other members. Um, and I'm really thankful that Dr. Schaefer has taken the time to work with us this past year since I've been elected as chair of this committee. Uh, so that's a little bit about the planning committee. Uh, hopefully you'll learn some more. And uh, if you ever want to engage further, uh, you should uh, look at our page. Uh, look, you can basically look up planning committee. And we have a page and a blog that you can, you can keep up with. Uh, and then there's also ways to keep up with what CPAR is doing online. Sure. We put all of the data we put together for the planning committee out online, cpar.unomaha.edu backslash policy. You can talk, uh, look at district dashboards. So it includes a lot of the data we'll talk about today, as well as our infographics. Great. Um, one general update about the planning committee. Uh, so last year, there were many different... Um, we had a lot of conversations over my first two years in the committee. And one of the recommendations that came out of this was to secure a priority designation for the committee. I just think this is really helpful, um, sort of FYI to people out there. Um, every single standing committee, every chairperson has two priority designations where they can put it on a bill. And that means that that bill basically gets fast tracked and will get scheduled and get time to be debated. Uh, and our committee was one of the special committees that does not have a priority designation. And so we lobbied uh, my members and we educated them and we were able to pass this this year as a rule. So now the planning committee has one priority designation, which means uh, we have the ability to say a bill has a subject matter that's so important to the state of Nebraska and to this planning committee that we can bring it forward. So that's just something as a FYI to everybody out there.